In continuation of the discussion of the release of the Chibok Girls, Dr. Fumi Akiola, consultant psychiatrist, Federal Neuropsychiatrist Hospital here in Lagos, joins me in the studios. Many thanks indeed for coming on the news at 10. What steps should be taken to rehabilitate the release 21 girls now that the Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo has pledged rehabilitation? Yes, um, thank you for having me. Uh, I think the, the most important thing is that these children, these girls, should be attended, attended to by professionals, you know, professionals in the mental health, because, you know, they will have psychological issues, things that happened to them while they were in captivity, and now they're out. They're going to have a lot of emotional issues, cognitive issues, you know, emotional things, and uh, even the, the way they're going to relate now that they're out of captivity. So they should be attended. I think the first thing is that... Um, they should have a medical attention because we don't know what they went through health-wise. So they should be seen. They should be kept in a safe and secured environment. Of course, they should be handed over to their relatives and friends so that, um, you know, so that those ones can offer them support because that's what they need now, psychological support. And, um, and they will have a listening ear so that whenever they are ready to talk, they can talk about what they went through. But they shouldn't be forced. It's until when they are ready to talk. But they are there to listen. And of course, the professionals are around them to offer help, information, so that if they are not coping well, it's as per coming back into the community, they can be helped. So to you, what then should be, do you suppose, is the biggest challenge the that the girls will face? We saw one of them already having a baby. Yes, because it's only, they, they can only tell us what they went through. We can only imagine. Of course, they'll have emotional issues. Whatever they went through, they, they, most likely they're having flashbacks. We say post-traumatic stress disorders. I'm sure they will have anxieties. Now they're back in the community. How are they going to cope? So there, there might be anxiety. They could be having features of depression. You no, know, sad. They, and now that they are being returned back into the community, the relatives might be shocked that they might actually withdraw from them because these are some of the things that could happen. You know, they will withdraw from their family, their friends. Now that the vice president is saying that they have, they'll send them back to school, we really need to work with them. So that because some of them might say they don't want to go back to school. Because what happened to them happened in school. So if they're having flashbacks, they want to avoid the areas that will remind them of what happened to them. So they really need to undergo a lot of um, um, psychological support, first aids that we talked about on World Mental Health Day on the 10th. So we need to have real support around them, encourage them to talk. But the family, we need to tell the families too, as much as they are offering support, they shouldn't force them to talk about what they went through. Do you Is suppose that, that the girls, uh, yes. for, for instance, could be uh, dangerous to society, having gone through all of that trauma and uh, no. knowing very well that Boko Haram have actually used girls to carry out suicide bombings? Yes, that's why we need to be around them to support them to know so that they tell us it's because as they begin to talk, we know whether they have been indoctrinated or it's just emotional issues. Like we know, I'm sure they have they married some of them. We saw one of them that brought back a child. So it's only, we can only uh, uh, imagine what they went through. So until we know, until they start talking, we won't actually know what, whether they have been indoctrinated to believe in their own mission. And um, then from there, we'll be able to help. The professionals will come in and we'll offer the appropriate help psychologically, emotionally, and cognitively, so that whatever they have been taught, they have to unlearn all that. Dr. Fumi yes. Akiola, yes. a consultant psychiatrist, Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital in Lagos, one of the things indeed for talking to us yes. here on the news at 10.